Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another work week. I am so excited about this week's work week. I have been wanting to do this kind of like themed work week for a really long time. Ask me all the time to film what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week videos. And so I thought it could be really fun if we did a work week, but we kind of primarily focused it around what I eat in a week. Obviously, it'll be like a normal work week. I'll talk about work and stuff, but we could also talk about like what I eat and stuff too. Also, just a huge disclaimer, what I eat doesn't mean that it needs to be what you eat. I'm not perfect. I try and live a very balanced lifestyle. In the last, I'd say, three or so months, I have kind of transitioned over to a more intuitive style eating, which took me a while to grasp at first because, um, like I said, I just have always counted my macros. Um, but I really love it now, and I, I've never felt better. I also do try and limit my dairy. Um, I am very dairy intolerant, not just lactose intolerant. I can't handle casein, which is the protein found in dairy um, that's still in lactose-free stuff. So you guys will notice I try for the most part to eat dairy-free, but I'm human, and I love cheese. So I'm really excited. I'm not vegan or anything. I do eat meat. Um... And yeah, if you guys don't have anything nice to say, maybe just please refrain from saying it. Putting what you eat in a week on the internet can be very scary because a lot of people have opinions about what kind of the right and wrong way is to eat. And just know that everyone's body is different and everyone's body needs different fuel to live. And without it, and let's just get into it. So it's eight o'clock on Monday morning. I made myself a giant iced coffee this morning. I'm very excited about it. I was really craving a cold coffee. This is just an Alto Nespresso Pod, Alto Intenso, which is like the 14 ounce one. Um, and then there's like a ton of ice in it, so it's kind of watered down. And then I just put in some oat milk and some of the National Delight Peppermint Mocha Creamer, which is lactose-free, not dairy-free, but it's so good. Um, and you guys have seen me make this a million times. I'll probably show you guys how I make it early, later in the week, but I just wanted to show you guys that's my coffee for the morning. Obviously, since it's Monday morning, it's going to be pretty crazy i have a feeling um, just because i haven't really been working all weekend morning oh my god i only have five emails wow i was about to say this could be a crazy morning but anyways let's just let's just get into the video i'm gonna catch up on some emails i'm gonna drink my iced coffee i'll chat with you guys in a little bit Just did my little Monday morning routine, did my planner for the day. Um, it made a pretty busy day. Um, Mondays, I always just like to go in and look at my meetings and then put them in here just so I kind of know like when I can't take Stella for a walk or go to the dog park and stuff. So that's kind of that. But I have two meetings today. I have one at 9 and one at 2.30. So I have one in a few minutes. Um, and then I'm recording a podcast night with Sarah Jenkins. I'm really excited about that. And then I just started my to-do list. So that's that. But... Still working on the iced coffee. water game this morning it's 10 20 i'm not gonna lie um i'm having my first water now i try and have water as soon as i get up but sometimes i'm just like not super thirsty um but i'm having a lemon water i try and drink like three mason jars a day or like whatever my cup is usually i have like a pink reusable one but i don't know where it is so today we're doing a mason jar so try and have three of these a day having some water <laughs> cheers <laughs> Finally having like a little brunch situation. It's 11.50. Um, I'm a very big creature of routine when it comes to food. You guys probably have realized that in my work week because like, I ate the same breakfast. But I decided to switch it up today and I'm really excited. Um, we got brunch yesterday and we had some leftover hash browns. So I was like, hmm, what can I make with this? And so I made like a little hash brown bowl, which I'll show you guys. And we just have an egg, which I'm about to yolk it up. Yeah, so we have an egg, um, some dairy-free cheese, some hash browns, a leftover sausage from breakfast, and then just some like bacon bits. I just thought it'd be like a yummy little like breakfast bowl. I'm gonna put some ketchup on it. Afternoon coffee. Instead of having two coffees in the morning, I've been really trying to like wait so I can have an afternoon coffee because typically I'll have my two coffees in the morning and then by the afternoon I want a third and I'm not letting myself do that. So 
I waited to have my second coffee this afternoon and what I do is I will brew it in the morning and then I'll put it in the fridge to cool down so I can have iced coffee. This is the caramel cookie, my fave. So I'll show you guys how I kind of make a little um, iced coffee. But okay guys, so you take your little, your little cup and then I just pour my cooled coffee in there. If I don't do flavored creamer, this is the creamer I use. It's so yummy. Put a splash of that in there. We have breakfast. I feel like I say this in all my videos, but I really have been trying with my new job to like actually take a lunch break. So I've shut my computer upstairs. I put my on Mac replies on for 30 minutes and I'm gonna sit downstairs, watch each video and eat and I'm so excited. Let me know down below if you put ketchup on your eggs because I do and if you don't, I think that's weird because I don't know what eggs taste like without ketchup. And then obviously Stella's here because she wants some food. Do you want some food? Do you want to eat my food, ma'am? Are you trying to eat my breakfast? Are you trying to eat my breakfast? 122 we got the lemon water we got coffee number two we have both computers Only about three i'm just in the middle of a meeting right now i just stepped out it's just like one of those meetings where we're always on mute um and i made a little snack board it's my favorite thing if you guys have watched my videos you guys would know also i tried to get through a day without dairy but i couldn't here's some brie but it's like extra aged brie because really aged cheese doesn't upset my stomach too much so i have that with some salami crackers almonds some snow peas a golden kiwi and a gingerbread cookie because life is about balance so this is my little snack board i love doing this in the afternoon just with some healthy fat some greens keeps me full and yeah I'm really excited and you want some don't you but you're not getting any you want some I know hi guys I have my winter jacket on so I'm very sad it's very cold here it's currently 403 I finished work exactly three minutes ago and I'm off to get groceries I haven't been to Whole Foods in so long I typically only go like once a month not even that just to pick up on some of my favorite like dairy free things so I thought I'd bring you guys along because I get questions about trying to be dairy free or like my favorite dairy free products literally all the time so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me and be super fun I don't get a ton there I just have like a few essentials because it is expensive but I'm gonna listen to a podcast I really like getting out of the house at the end of the work day just because I've been sitting in my office literally all day um but I'm really excited to listen to this episode of Michelle Reed's podcast it's all about ditching consumerism and having an abundance mindset whole foods it's like 10 minutes away oh I hope I have a mask oh we're good so yeah I'll probably haul everything when I get home but that's my update I'm gonna put some sunglasses on and let's roll out hi guys just got home from Whole Foods picked myself up a green juice I'm really excited about it I rarely ever eat out anymore man I eat out maybe once every two weeks one and a half weeks we rarely we rarely eat out but today I just wanted to treat myself and that's okay because me buying this overpriced six dollar green juice isn't gonna stop me from living my life or saving or anything like that I've learned that I'll always be like if I'd stop buying this coffee every day I'd be able to buy a house but a five dollar coffee every day if that's what you want to do like freaking do it like put in your budget um i have like a little fun budget so in case i want to buy myself a green juice i don't feel bad i'm really excited i didn't have enough greens today honestly and sometimes the only way that's like appetizing to me to get them in is a juice or a smoothie um i'm not a huge greens person like eating them on my own um so i got this i'm really excited i also didn't picture that i got a vegan maple donut because i can't resist when i go to whole foods um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys some of my whole food staples also I do have IBS. I feel like I didn't say that at the beginning of this video, but, um, so I don't eat gluten-free. I do eat gluten. So there are some like gluten-free things that I just enjoy eating because they taste good to me, not because I'm gluten-free. So just, yeah. I get too much. Like I said, these are just kind of like some essentials I get at Whole Foods. So I really, really love any kind of cashew cheese. This is my favorite though. It's a local Canadian brand and it was the one on sale. It's a garlic and fine herb one i love 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 these they have the texture of hummus if you've never had them really good you should try i use it for everything um i love the so delicious ice creams especially the cashew based ones and i haven't had this one yet. i've had the bananas foster and it was so good so i got the cinnamon cookie dough and then my green juice and then chickpea pasta i love we don't have bands in canada so i love this stuff so much um i can't resist getting one of the dairy-free mochis i love mochi so much and this is the best one 
Um, oh my god, I usually get guac from Whole Foods, but then today I realized they had garlic guac. I'm so excited about this. And then just with it being, you know, flu season and COVID season, I just got a little booster shot. Um, well, these are my favorite waffles in the world. They're so good. The pumpkin ones are also really good. I love having these for a quick breakfast. And then I got some fresh tortilla chips for the guac. And then you guys know, obviously today I was in a hash brown mood. And while I was there, I was like, you know what? I may as well just get it. So I just got these diced hash browns because I love them. So that's like my really tiny Whole Foods haul, but just kind of like some staples. The waffles, chickpea pasta, ice cream, and cashew cheese are like my Whole Foods staples. So I'm going to put that away. Enjoy my green juice and probably check in with you guys when I'm about to record the podcast or around 6.30. everybody from my giant cup of coffee it's currently 7 40 and i'm just getting some personal emails before i start the work day but i want to hop on and say good morning i'm just having a coffee with a little bit of oat milk everyone it is currently 10 30 i'm coming at you guys really late this morning it's been a really busy morning with work so i've just been like on the couch grinding i didn't even like make it to my office i'm also having some like really crazy breakouts right now but not eating a lot of sugar this weekend, so I think that's what it's from. I just could not wake up today. I pressed snooze like a thousand times. I got up at like 7.50 and I started work at 8. So just know that not every day I get up and have like a nice productive early morning routine. It, it doesn't work all the time. Um, I'm here answering emails. Still is napping. <laughs> a crazy morning. I got news that my parking, like the lady I rent my parking from, doesn't want to rent her spot to me anymore. So I'm like frantically trying to find parking for December 9th and I'm stressed. So that's that. But uh, I'm probably gonna eat breakfast in a little bit. So I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. Clean up the kitchen really, really quick and then we're gonna make some breakfast. one egg and some egg whites in there making an omelet it's gonna have green onion some of these like bacon crumble from costco that i love um some pastrami is like my current favorite meat and then i'm gonna try and put some cashew cheese like in it i think it would be like nice and creamy and then i just have some strawberries and this little booster shot pray for me so all right guys here's the finished product my super sad looking omelet that broke and then some strawberries and then my little booster shot and then I decided to make a water so sometimes when I'm like bored of water I'll just put some lemon and strawberries in it and that's what I did and we're gonna take this little shooter it has ginger pear and lemon so gross but it's gonna be so good for my health Ugh! oh my god this is disgusting I'm putting like my party girl tequila days to shame because I can down a good shot but that was awful. Since I've just been sitting on the couch all morning being lazy, like I've been getting work done, but I'm on the couch. I'm gonna spend the afternoon in my office. And yeah, I tried to get a gym appointment for today, but I couldn't. If you guys don't know, we just got out of another lockdown in Ottawa and there's only 40 spots to the gym and they're just like always full, which is why I haven't been able to go to the gym. Like I can never book a time to go. Breakfast and I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. Really want to put makeup on right now because i'm just feeling really insecure about my skin i know i need to let it breathe so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some moisturizer and like leave my skin naked for the day i've been loving tula stuff um, 24 7 moisture cream yeah it's the current situation my acne it's not great um but i have an eyelash lift in tint which i really like because it kind of looks like i have on mascara um but i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize and yeah <laughs> Just got back from the dog park the vibes are immaculate right now my other candle that was up here yesterday the wick was like buried in the wax so i can light it so i brought this one up in merrickville it's a cool ottawa company i love it so so much so cool in there so i just can't wake up today so i'm having my little afternoon coffee early this is just the bianco forte so yummy with a bit of oat milk and then i'm just having a little protein bar as a snack i love these if you guys are dairy free or vegan or anything i have tried to find a good dairy free protein bar that doesn't taste like butthole this is so good because it's like rice cake consistency i'll show you guys but it's so good it's made with pea protein delicious and we gotta get back to work now i haven't done a low bun in a video in so long i've been trying to like actually get ready but 
today is the day we're back i changed into a sweater i never wear tan sweaters this is actually matte's i feel like i don't own any hoodies anymore i always wear crew necks Park, she had so much fun she always does it's such a good way to poop her out for the afternoon i love to go around lunchtime and yeah but i'm gonna have my protein bar last night oh i didn't even show you guys my dinner last night i totally forgot um and it's so good it tastes like a cinnamon bun i mean you guys would know if you've been watching my videos at least for a few months how much i love these um but yeah so like i said i have that meeting around 2 30 it's one um let me know how you feel about this work week i feel like it's a lot more casual chill relax i'm not gonna like cut out as much um let me know if you guys like that a bit more drink my coffee eat my protein bar and have a good time Hello, how was your nap? Do you want me to tell me about it? Okay, I'm in one of those like meetings that I have to be quiet in. Like they don't give you the option to talk. Um, it's just a walkthrough meeting. And chips and guac as our lunch slash snack. I literally ate half of this last night for dinner. Um, it was delicious, but I'm gonna eat some of this now. I'm having a plain bagel with some earth balanced butter to me. But I'm also cooking some sausages for dinner and we're gonna whip something up. But I'm gonna go back to my meeting for like the last 20 minutes and I'll probably take a nap after. I had such a good sleep last night, yet I have not been able to wake up today. And I think I need to take a nap when work's done. Okay guys, I just finished work and Stella and I are gonna take our typical post-work nap together. It's like my favorite part of the day. Is it your favorite part of the day? Are you so excited for nap time? Hi guys, okay, I just woke up from my nap. It's like 5.30, 5.40, almost six o'clock. I had a decent nap. I feel really icky. Obviously I ate something today that my stomach didn't like. I just can't figure out what, and that's like the crappy thing about IBS sometimes is that sometimes your stomach is just upset and you don't know why. Like I avoided all my trigger foods today and I didn't even eat any dairy and I just feel like crap and I'm not super hungry, but I know I need to eat. So I'm just gonna have something small, but I'll show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner. I'm gonna make soup. Minestrone soup is my favorite. So good. So I just have that on the oven. And then I'm gonna make some of my favorite red lobster biscuits. Shredded cheddar and I don't put it in there. So I literally just do water in the mix just to like avoid dairy. Um, and then I just do like, I just do like some earth balance and then the little garlic herb blend. So I think I'm just gonna watch a Christmas movie and snuggle with Stella until Matt gets home, so. popcorn in the world it's for marshall's home sense home goods whatever it's so good it tastes like movie theater popcorn like it's good popcorn when it's yellow and it's like not super unhealthy i don't really care about cal i don't really care about calories but this tastes so so good you guys good morning guys happy wednesday it's currently 9 45 can you believe i haven't had a coffee yet who is she um i slept in again this morning until like 7 50 so that's that um i'm gonna have a pretty busy work day i have two meetings and then i just have like a lot of like tasks to do um i have to convert a lot of word documents into pdfs and stuff so just stuff like that um i'm just kind of doing stuff to make everyone else's life a bit easier during this like epic upgrade so that's that um Today's outfit is just a cardigan and then I'm wearing the same crop top from yesterday and then just my joggers again. It's a pretty chill, but like I tried to get dressed but I look presentable in meetings outfit. So um, I'm gonna make a coffee. Let's do it. It's only fair to use my silver Mickey cup because today's Mickey's 92nd or 93rd birthday. So we're gonna use that. And I don't really know what I'm gonna make yet. And a double. I've been loving this one. It's the double espresso scuro, and I like to make like an iced Americano. So I think I'm gonna do that today. So I'm hungry, and it's only 10 a.m. So guess what I'm having? A biscuit. Because why the heck not? Like literally, why not? Chef's kiss. Hey, I just 
got out of my little like weekly staff meeting kind of like with my team my team is really small actually it's only four of us and then my manager so we just got out of our little weekly meeting we meet from 10 30 to 11 30 just to kind of chat about anything we have any issues we have um it's a good chance for me to like bring up any questions i've been having um and now i'm just gonna work for the next few hours like i said i just have like a lot of admin stuff to do today convert some documents over so i'm gonna do that until my walkthrough meeting at 2 30. um so it's day three since we have a big upgrade going on um We've just been breaking up the upgrades into days and then just doing walkthroughs, so that's an hour and a half. And then I have a lesson tonight, which is exciting, and then we're just gonna relax. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be a good day. I'm really just in a good mood. I'm kind of getting hungry a little bit, so I think I'm gonna go downstairs and I don't know what I want yet. Maybe some fruit or something. Um, but we're gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast and i'll chat with you guys in a little bit righty just made some breakfast i'm having two of the whole foods waffles i show you guys in my grocery haul with some strawberries and then i recently discovered coconut whipped cream because i miss whipped cream it's wednesday we're halfway through the week treat yourself so that's my little breakfast still have a little coffee left to go this is flavored coffee it's straw free so i like to drink it black because it tastes really good so i'm gonna have this do some more work for an hour and then we're gonna go to the dog park myself some lunch it probably doesn't look very appetizing but i wanted a like little burrito bowl but we didn't have lettuce so it's just rice black beans corn um some grilled chicken tortilla strips for some crunch so that's my little burrito bowl for lunch and i'm gonna get back to work again guys it's afternoon tea time sometimes in the afternoon when like i don't want a coffee but i want something cold because i literally always need to be drinking something it is like my downfall i'll make a tea just because you know it's like pretty low sugar low calorie not the calories matter but sometimes it's just nice to sip on something and like not bloat or anything so i really love these i get the like the mix pack from david's tea of just like these little single use cold teas and today i'm mixing frozen raspberry and hibiscus they're really awesome and then on the back they'll kind of give you the details so um how long if they're caffeine free i picked two caffeine free ones today which is nice so then you just put in this i like to soak it longer than 10 minutes so it's like extra strong and then guys i always love doing this part it's so cool watch like this you put ice on top and they're ready this is always the best part it's so cool oh, it smells so good and fruity too i'm so we have a cute puppy hi she's so tired from the dog park it's such a good way to poop her out Hi, sleepy girl. And then I think I want a snack. Both of our snack drawer. And I'm a kid. I always need to have some kind of like kitty snack. So I'm gonna have some mini graham crackers today. Guys, we're on the couch for the afternoon. I have a meeting at 2.30. Um, so I'm gonna sit here for the afternoon and get work done, be on that meeting, get some stuff done in the background. You guys know I love to like switch up where I work and stuff. And so we're on the couch. I also had to change because it was freezing when we got home from the dog park. It's so cold outside ironically i'm drinking iced tea though um but matt just went to ikea with his brother and so i'm gonna stay downstairs and do my meeting since the house is quiet um and i want to like snuggle up with the fireplace and a blanket so i'm gonna do that and that way i can just relax downstairs hang with stella um and yeah my meeting's in 15 minutes so I can like relax for the next 15 minutes. I sent, I sent over all the documents I had to fix today to one of the girls on my team that asked me to help her with that. And now I'm just gonna chill for probably like the next 15 minutes before my meeting, drink my tea, have my snack. And then I'll probably eat dinner around like seven when I get home from the barn. Um, so yeah, that's my update. Just gonna eat some minion graham crackers oh my god apparently there's a Gru one i'm gonna f <gasps> my first one was Gru, guys can you guys tell it's Gru? look how cute okay i'm gonna eat these and i'll chat with you guys in a little bit calling it right now i have to marry matt because he just got back from ikea and if you guys didn't know cinnamon buns are my favorite food in the world i'm having one right now i'm so excited let's do this whole one. Look
look at that beautiful thing. Wow, I'm so excited. It's a little while later, I got home from the barn. I'm so cold. I was gonna film my ride, or try to at least, but it was so cold I left my camera in the car. But I'm like all bundled up now. I don't even look very cute. I'm wearing like a sweatshirt and these sweats and my slippers. And I'm gonna make some dinner. I want something really warm because I'm so cold. So I think I'm gonna make some kind of pasta. I had wine at all this week. Who is she? But I'm off a glass tonight to celebrate getting halfway through the week. I'm very pumped about it. We'll see this wine glass now, so I'm really living my best life. Um, but we're gonna figure out what to make for dinner. It's almost seven, so I'm gonna make some dinner, pour a glass of wine, and then Stella and I are gonna probably watch The Bachelorette, um, because we don't have cable, so I have to watch it um the next day. But let's whip something up. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Cheers. is even if it's me like cut me out of your from the barn and matt had our christmas tree on which is always so so sweet it's my love language for sure but i am just so comfy and cozy and i'm gonna stay here all night my dinner it actually turned out really well so it's just um chickpea pasta just because i actually just like the amount of protein that's in it um and then i just the sausage that we made last night i fried up in the pan they're just like some chicken sausages from costco with some cashew cheese actually the one we get from whole foods that i put on my bagels it actually melts really well in a pot so I did that with some lactose-free cheese. I still haven't found a good dairy-free cheese, so I just do lactose-free. And then some bacon bits. So it's kind of like, I don't really know, a vegan-ish. No, definitely not vegan. A somewhat lactose-free Alfredo, I guess. I don't know. The cashew cream cheese really is like creamy. So it kind of makes almost like a dairy-free Alfredo sauce. It's really good. And then I obviously just have some wine. So that's my little dinner. And then I'll probably have some kind of ice cream or something for dessert because I just feel like I haven't eaten a lot today. My dinner, 10 on 10 uh, amazing to any of my vegans out there put cashew cheese in your pasta won't disappoint was really skeptical to try the dairy-free haagen bars i don't know i just thought it'd be weird but it's 2020 like all dairy-free stuff is good so good tess got me hooked on these they're the chocolate peanut butter bars i'm gonna bite into it and show you guys it has like peanut butter and caramel swirl in it it's amazing but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here um, because still it is sock, we think, and I'm really scared I'm going to have to go to the vet tonight, and so I'd rather just end the vlog off here, that way I don't have to, like, upload this without an outro, so, pray for Stella that she doesn't have a sock in her, and if she does, that she poops it out, doesn't need surgery, but I'm a little anxious right now, so, I'm going to end the vlog off here, mainly because I'm not eating anything else today, and I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know if you like the style of, like, chill work weeks, if you want to see more work weeks, focused around eating because I had so much fun doing this and I thought it was really fun to share the food I eat so I'm gonna eat this and call to Stella and pray that she doesn't have to have a uh, bowel obstruction surgery and I'll talk to you guys next time bye